Hey, it's Jubal from Live 95.5, and you just clicked on one of my most outrageous phone taps ever. Listen to Live 95.5 each morning at 20 after for Portland's best prank phone calls. Until then, here's one of the top five phone taps of all time. Hello? Hi, is Dorothea there? Yes, speaking. Hi, Dorothea. My name is Seth McElroy, and I'm calling from the church. How are you today? I don't know Seth McElroy. I know you don't. That's why I'm calling to introduce myself. I'm the new events coordinator at your church. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. So listen, I'm calling you to let you know there's going to be a few changes coming up. Changes? What changes? Well, you know the pancake breakfast that we have every Sunday after the 9 a.m. service? Yes. Mm -hmm. I I love it. Yes. Well, we're actually going to be doing away with the pancake breakfast altogether. What did you just say? I said that we're going to be doing away with the pancake breakfast. Why? Well, we just feel that pancake breakfasts are kind of an outdated tradition, you know? So we're tr- they are not. They are not outdated. Everybody loves the pancake breakfast. You can't just walk in there and take them away. Attendance has been a little down, so we're going to start doing some new things. So. Nobody told me about this. Well, that's why I'm telling you about it right now. No, that's it's just wrong. How can you come in there, you bastard, and just do that? You can't just cut out somebody's pancake breakfast. Ma'am, if you could not call me a bastard, I would appreciate that. I can call you a bastard if I want to, you little <laughs> You just can't come in here and take away people's pancakes. Who do you think you are? I've been going to that pancake breakfast for over 40 years, and you're just a <laughs> little creep that came in here and said, we can have a pancake shop. Yes, we can. And you just better grow up and get the hell out of town. Ma'am, I think you just need to relax. We're just talking about pancakes. Here. I am relaxed. You're just making me upset, you little bitch. Does Pastor Dave know what you're trying to do? Because he won't let you. You just better calm down and give us back our pancakes. Pastor Dave knows all about this. He and I had a long conversation. You're a and- liar. Pastor Dave would never take away our pancakes. He knows we love our pancakes and conversation. You're just a liar. Put Pastor Dave on the phone right now. Well, I, I want to talk to him. I can't put Pastor Dave on the phone because he's not with me right now. Just give him the phone. Give it to him right now. Ma'am. I don't care where he is. Just give him the phone. I need to talk Ma'am, to him. Ma'am, you sound really upset right now. I, and I am upset. I'm very upset, and I need to speak to Pastor Dave right now Okay. because this is f***ing wrong. I haven't even told you what we're going to be replacing the pancake breakfast with. It's pretty exciting. I think you'll like it. I don't want to even hear what it is. I think you do. I think you will. I we're going to be putting in a juice bar instead. A so juice you can bar? Get, what the f- is a juice bar? It's an area where people can just come and get delicious, healthy juices after church. Something that's a juices, little more healthy. Juices. People don't want f- juices. They want pancakes. F- damn moron. What is f- wrong with this country? We don't want juice. We want pancakes. This is really funny to me. I'm sorry. Funny? <laughs> what the f- is wrong with you? This isn't funny. This is people's lives. And you think it's funny to take away our pancakes? What the hell's wrong with you, <laughs> idiot? <laughs> shut up. I said shut the f- up. I'm sorry, I can't. Why can't you? <laughs> because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning doing a phone tap on you. Your granddaughter Candace set you up for it. She doesn't work for the church, dumbass. I don't no. think so. No, I know she doesn't. Who the f- you I've, I've never heard of you in my in my whole life I, i'm not surprised i'm just a guy that she listens to on the radio she said you would freak out regarding any type of changes at your church well she's right yeah i could tell so is this whole thing over now yes it's done unless you want to talk to me a little longer no <laughs>